So the other day I saw this news story that really just left me shaking my head, wondering what is really wrong with some people. I think it's safe to say that most of us go through a phase in our teenage years where we butt heads with our parents and maybe even act rebellious against their wishes for our lives and who we want to be around. I remember back in the day I dated a couple girls and had a couple of friends who my parents probably would have rather me not spent time with. Maybe the girls were trashy, maybe some of my friends were bad influences, or they started getting into the wrong extracurricular activities. Either way, looking back now, for the most part, they were right. Their moral judgment was better than that of a 16-year-old kid. Who would have thought? I say all of this because in today's video, we have a 16-year-old girl who conspired against and murdered her very own father with the help of her 16-year-old boyfriend, all because the dad didn't like him and told her she couldn't see him anymore. With their method of choice being a stabbing, this is one of the craziest stories I've ever seen. And not only did they do this horrific, unholy act, but they also bragged about it across social media. Welcome um, back to our YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm day three. Day three after <laughs> murdering somebody. Whoa! Don't put that on the camera. I really can think of a more evil person besides maybe someone who would take out their own kids. But let's just chalk those two things up to about the same level. I guess this is what happens when two psychopaths get together and decide they're in love. You could tell the two of them felt absolutely no remorse for their actions as they smiled and laugh into the camera. It seems like they were happy they executed their plan. This dude really said, welcome back to our YouTube channel, day three after murdering somebody. It's only my third day out here, I don't know. And I wouldn't have trusted this little fuck either. What Mexican goes bald at 18 years old? This man is out here looking like Bryce Hall after he got his hairline punched off. And above that, unless they were on some Romeo and Juliet law shit, this was technically an illegal dating situation as well. And it has also been noted that her mother also had some serious problems with this relationship, and so in general this guy must have just given off bad vibes. Maybe things were getting a little too serious too fast, maybe they thought she was gonna get knocked up, or maybe the dude was just a little shitter. Either way, this Edgar looking motherfucker really convinced her to do this so they could be together. I don't see what could possibly go wrong with their amazing plan and here's where the story really gets fucked up because after they took him out they attempted to dismember his body with power tools and even attempted to burn his house down obviously with his body still inside i mean this was her dad the man who has loved her for her entire life and would probably always love her no matter what the circumstance. During his life, the man was a personal trainer who loved to travel. Over the years, he shared many personal home videos on his Facebook where he expressed his love for his kids and his joy for life. In general, he seemed like any other dad that wanted the best for his kid. And when it seemed like he was cutting himself off from humanity is when people started to get suspicious. Here's a call from the criminal's grandma to the police, wondering what's really going on. He's been missing for two days. His work's called, his family's called, I've called, his ex-wife's called, and there's nobody answering the phone. I know there's something very wrong going on here. Once they saw the writing on the wall, they hijacked her dad's car and drove it over 500 miles away to Salt Lake City, where they were hiding out in a tent. That's where the clip I showed you earlier was filmed. These two idiots also got caught in 4K buying bleach and other items for their big day and now that they've been arrested he faces the death penalty while she faces life in prison due to her only being 16 years old i mean truly what a fucked up story this girl had a great childhood and father who a lot of people could only dream of having and this is truly one of if not the most disgusting vile things i've ever seen and them smiling and laughing while talking about this really makes the whole situation a hundred times worse can you imagine how shocked the father was or what was going through his mind at that very moment? May this man rest in peace. Now let's have a little moment of silence to end this video.